Well, Spain's cabinet has approved a bill that grants paid medical leave for women who suffer from severe menstrual pain. It's the first European country to advance such legislation. Menstrual leave is currently offered in a small number of countries across the globe, among them South Korea and Indonesia. But the proposed legislation must still be approved by the Spanish parliament. Our correspondent in Madrid, Sarah Morris, joins us now. Uh, hi, Sarah. Uh, so what led to this bill being introduced in the first place? Well, the Spanish left-wing government says that it is time uh, to end to taboo. It says that this legislation is pioneering. It would be the first a country in Europe to introduce this legislation if it gets through the parliament. Uh, um, Equalities Minister Irene Montero, uh, she talks about the need to end the stigma of shame and silence around periods. And she said it would no longer be normal to go to work uh, in pain. Now, the government is stressing that this uh, time off work, which would be unlimited, will be paid for by the government and that it will require a doctor's note. They also say uh, this is not for women that who have slight discomfort during their periods. Uh, this is really for severe pain, which involves a uh, fever, bad headaches, uh, diarrhea and those uh, very painful cramps that some women suffer from. Now, the legislation is not without its controversy. Uh, many, uh, there are critics, including those uh, on the left. One prominent unionist, for instance, says that she is worried uh, that this could discourage employers from hiring women. And some gynaecologists say that there is a uh, better and better treatment uh, for period pain uh, meaning that it is not normally, uh, some of them say, uh, necessary for women to take uh, time off work. But many women saying uh, there are estimates that as many as 15 percent of women of a fertile age uh, suffer from this kind of severe pain. Well, so, Sarah, we understand that that this bill is part of legislation on abortion. Uh, why is that? What's the connection? That's right. Um, well, the government says that it is necessary to uh, review legislation and to move with the times in all aspects. Uh, it, is, it is fitted in the uh, period um, law and additional amendments to the law uh, where it um, updates the abortion code. It basically says uh, that there was a paternalistic attitude in the existing abortion law that uh, some 16-year-olds, uh, for instance, uh, required the permission of their parents. They say that's outdated. And notably, they say uh, that many women, as we've reported in some of our recent reports, uh, can't actually in, in practice get an abortion in Spain uh, because there are not doctors within the public health service uh, willing to do it. And the government says uh, that will change and uh, it will change uh, very fast once this bill is passed. Okay, our correspondent in Madrid, uh, Sarah Morris. Sarah, thanks for that.